Brad Miller and um, the piece that I did for uh, Salmon in the City is I created uh, 30,000 prints that look something like this when they're developed but they're um, when they're undeveloped they have this yellow uh, look like this and they're very light sensitive so if I was to hold this in the light for too long it would just disappear so I'll put it back in there real quick people who receive them will kind of have a choice of whether or not they want to protect it. If they throw it away, it's definitely going to be destroyed. Or if, they, if they're just careless with it, it'll, it'll disappear. So, so it takes a real sort of uh, concerted effort to keep it hidden from the light. Because the idea was we wanted to have this sort of collector's um, packaging. So it could be something that you, that you cherished. So the idea of, of numbering every envelope, and there's a number on every fish, and we shouldn't forget is that I actually individually signed every single one of them. Um, I still have an, about 1,500 to go. So we have these black envelopes uh, to, to protect from light passing through, black printed on the outside and the inside, and then the explanation of how you develop the fish uh, or, or protect it, and just a little bit of information about the, the program. You also have the largest when I handed these out at the, at the at the sort of unveiling ceremony, the Earth Day event, um, people took them and immediately hid them in their jackets and said, "We're you know we're concerned that they would disappear." So there was no opportunity for any criticism from anybody. They were all just so thankful to get it and hide it away. So I sort of felt uh, that that was kind of amusing because people people seem to love it without even looking at it. The sort of underlying meaning and, and drive of this piece is the fact that they will uh, disappear. If you receive one of these, it's sort of up to you to take care of it. And uh, you know, you can. One of the thoughts is that you can say, "Well, mine's one of thirty thousand. So if I destroy mine, it's not a big deal. There's thirty thousand more out there." But uh, you know, that's sort of again, sort of parallel to the to the issue of being good to the environment. Is you can't just rely on everybody else. You know, you're, it all has to add up.